Vina. Reggie! You promised to keep the visiograph open. You know I'm expecting to hear from Rocky. I wanted to bring in Casa 7. And there it is. I contacted Casa Central Control Station, and they're holding communications open. Can I speak to my brother, Paul? Well, I asked for him. They said he's at the landfill inspecting construction on the new landing platform. I'll soon see him. It'll be wonderful. How long since you've seen your brother, Vina? Almost three years. He'll be on the Casa 7 project another five years. What happened, Reggie? All the instruments are dead. Why, it seems normal. This is weird. Check the rockets. Rocket thrust is zero. Something has neutralized every bit of our equipment. And there's not a thing we can do about it. No way to check speed or position and not a chance to make contact with anyone. Somebody may have us under robot control. I don't know, Vina. And I don't know of any way of finding out. Vina's kept that spaceship physiograph busy for an hour. She knew I was going to call. Well, she's having a vacation, Rocky. Now, for me, let me relax with a little black book and a gay nightlife. A little more of that busy signal and you've sold me. Well, here, relax, Rocky. I'll give you a couple of choice pages. Oh, there's Vina now. Oh, Mr. Secretary. I'm glad I found you in, Rocky. There's something I'd like to discuss, if it doesn't upset your plans. It won't, sir. After all, this is your off-duty period. We can report at once, Mr. Secretary. Very good, Rocky. Well, I kissed the beautiful girls goodbye. Mm. And the gay nightlife. And the gay nightlife. But I'm not giving up yet. Rocky, this could turn into a mission. Well, that's all right, sir. Uh, I can take care of canceling our vacation plans, I guess. Perhaps I should assign someone else to the mission. Winky's only ribbing, Mr. Secretary. That's right. We'd rather ride the rocket, sir. <laughs> Make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. I don't know where this problem is going to lead. It's a job of troubleshooting. Well, sir, you know us. We're not happy unless we're in trouble. Well, no, uh, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, Winnie. First, I'll fill you in on some of the details. The United Worlds, as you know, are fortifying the planetoid Casa 7 as a joint control station for our entire solar system. Oh, yes. Professor Newton told us something about the project. In preparing Casa 7, each of the United Worlds is furnishing strategic and in most cases, restricted materials. But lately, there have been disturbing reports of cargo spaceships vanishing on the way to Count 7. Yes, Higgins? We're in contact by visiograph with Mars, sir. They request Secretary Drake. I'll take it on my receiver. This is Drake, speaking from Earth. Speaking from Mars, Runus here. This is the final report on our supply spaceship Double M en route to Casa 7. It is now two moon cycles overdue. We must presume it to be lost. Space Rangers are being assigned immediately to investigate the entire situation of missing cargo ships. I know you'll keep us informed, Mr. Secretary. You'll have a report within a solar month. Greetings from Earth, Runus. Greetings from Mars, Secretary Drake. You heard. That's the third spaceship vanished within a week. You know, of course, sir, that Vina's on her way to Casa 7 on a cargo ship. 
That's right, sir. Rocky's been trying to call Vina. I've been unable to make contact. And frankly, sir, I'm a bit worried. We'll put your mind at ease. Higgins. Yes, sir? Get a report from CASA 7. I want to know if cargo spaceship CM7 has landed. We'll have word in a few minutes, Rocky. We want to find out what's happening to the cargo ships. Oh, I'm sure it can be done, sir, by using our space stations. You're the troubleshooter, Rocky. Run down every possibility. We've got to find the answer, or there'll be repercussions throughout our entire system. The report from CASA 7, sir. Let's have it. Spaceship CM7 was last heard from as it was about to enter the gravity field for the approach. Since then, there's been no word from the ship. All efforts to make contact with it have failed. CM7 has disappeared into space. Thank you, Higgins. With your permission, sir, I'd like to start by tracing spaceship CM7. Of course. This mission is in your hands. Good. We can blast off within the hour. Thank you. Get the orbit jet ready for blast off, Winky. I'm going to see Professor Newton for a moment. The rockets will be ready to roar. There. Now, we'll have to give this at least a four-hour exposure, Bobby. Well, that's the longest one yet. Oh, Rocky, we're making some wonderful pictures of Scorpus with hydrogen light. What we need are some trick snapshots of Casa 7. Your tone tells me there's trouble. Perhaps, but I don't know what it is, Professor. Except that it concerns Casa 7. Secretary Drake will tell you the whole story. But this much I wanted you to know. The ship Venus on has vanished in space. I want to help, Rocky. Please let me help. This is one time I'd like to say no, Bobby, but I can't. Thanks, Rocky. Thanks a million. You won't be sorry. We'll find Vina. You bet we will. Now run along, get packed. Meet us at the blast-off platform. Professor Newton. I don't know where this flight is going to take us. Maybe to the far limits of our solar system. Is there something you wish to ask me, Rocky? Yes, Professor. Is there anything, any new discovery still held secret that might help us? Yes, there is. But I've been fearful of even discussing it. Wrongly used, it could have cataclysmic results. Vina's life may be at stake. Come, I'll show you. I'll show you the power of cold light. Cold light? auxiliary power holes out, we can use the visiograph. Can we contact anyone on it? No, we can see what's ahead of us on it, and that's about all. As near as I can tell, we're traveling at a constant speed. Reggie, we're alone in space without a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, Reggie. They must have seen us. The ship was coming in our direction. I couldn't identify it. It didn't have any markings. It may have come from Casa 7. We'll soon find out. Can they come alongside us? Yes, I'm sure the magnetic lock's in operation. Well, they're alongside. Probably aligning the airlock catch. They've reached the hatch. We're connected now. Seven? 
No. On Casa 7, they don't even know you're alive. And you're the ones who neutralized our equipment. You're real bright to figure that out for yourself. I'll get to the cargo room. Relax, or you won't be alive. questions later. I'll get through to Casa 7 on the astrophone in their ship. Keep an eye on him, Doc. I'll use the gun if I have to. Hurry up! Malvina, you'll drop it. Get over there. Nice work. You're a couple of smart operators. Only you don't have any brains. Now see if you can get their cargo into our ship without tripping over it. So, Rinkman, you've ended up as a space pirate. At least you can't sink any lower. It's a very profitable business, Lena. And to get it, you destroy spaceships. You won't be harmed. We've just neutralized your ship's rockets and equipment. Why are we still in normal flight? You're not. You're revolving around Casa 7 in a fixed orbit, just like the moon revolves around the Earth. How? We cut your power and neutralized your equipment when your ellipse speed balanced against the gravity of Casa 7. That's what happened to the other ships you've pirated. That's right. You'll be revolving around Casa 7 for the next million years, or until a piece of meteoric waste hits the ship. To make sure you're not identified, I'll have the markings removed from your ship. You have found a new way to commit murder. Oh, don't give me any credit, Lena. Dr. Vanko worked it out. I just make sure that no other spaceship bothers you. Frankman? That's the last of it. I'll send your pilot back. Oh, I almost forgot. In case you're expecting help from Rocky Jones, forget it. I've got a decoy spaceship waiting for him. The orbit jet will be blown to bits. The orbit jet's going to be blown to bits. The orbit jet's going to be blown to bits. have a chance. No use kidding ourselves, Avina. It's like a million to one shot that we'll ever be seen. 
like finding a tiny fragment in infinite space. Until our food gives out or a meteorite hits us. That's the deal, Lena. Right now I'm hungry. I'll get lunch. Winky, what's our position? Well, let me see if I can read it. Hey, what are you trying to do, get my job as navigator? Well, you know I wouldn't take anything that cheers your Rockies. Go ahead and read it, boy. Position celestial meridian, longitude 219 degrees 20 minutes. Celestial parallel, latitude 76 degrees 4 minutes. Good work, Bobby. Oh, Winky. Yeah, Rocky. I've contacted CASA 7. They still have no word from Venus spaceship. Oh? Well, maybe we better start scanning the radar effects, huh? Well, good idea. Our flight will take us into CASA's atmosphere. Hey, Winky. A spaceship at 5 o'clock. Oh. Can you identify it? Yeah, it's a Mars spaceship. The double M. Yeah, the ship that was reported lost. XV-2 calling spaceship Mars double M. Come in, double M. This is the XV-2 calling spaceship Mars double M. Come in. It's turned 15 degrees off horizontal. The ship's damaged, Rocky. Bobby's right. Hmm. The astrophone must be out. Secure, we're going alongside. We just missed being smeared all over the galaxy. No wonder they didn't answer our signal. Sure, they were leading us to the slaughter. The double M was lost, but apparently she's been found by enemies who are aboard now. Well, do we run or fight? Prepare to fire a starboard rocket. Aye, aye, sir. I'll arc over the ship at R-400. Release rocket on count five. Starting run. One, two, three, four, five. Well, the double M just became the scrambled M. Log the incident, Winky, so that a full report can be sent to Mars Space Headquarters. What did you hit? Sighted enemy, smeared same. And why do I have to miss all the excitement? Bobby boy, the excitement's just starting. Keep the radar vex open, Winky. I'm sure we're in an area our unknown enemies don't want us to search. Yes, sir. Rocky, object ahead. Object about two solar minutes ahead of us. All right, Bobby. Professor Newton can be proud of you. Elemental, my dear Rocky. Elemental. <laughs> Hold it on, Winky. When we're halfway there, we'll be able to tell if it's a spaceship. Rocky? Why'd you bring this on your orbit jet? Oh, well, that's something Professor Newton's been working on for a long time. I know. It's cold light. Oh? Then he's told you about it, huh? Yes, we discussed it, and I gave him my opinion. Well, I know he appreciated that. Cold light should never be used indiscriminately. The gamma rays could be fatal to those who use it. Yes, sir. Uh, Professor Newton warned me. Rocky, it's a space ship ahead. Safety box. This is the XB-2 calling spaceship at approximately celestial meridian 190 degrees, celestial parallel 80 degrees. Come in, identify yourself. This is the XB-2 calling spaceship at approximately celestial meridian 180 degrees, celestial parallel 90 degrees. Come in, identify yourself. It's a 
spaceship, Reggie. It's Rocky in the orbit jet. We have to get some signal to him. We're helpless, Vina. The rocket missiles. We can't operate the tubes. And even if we could, firing them wouldn't be safe. I mean, force them through the tubes. Drop them overside. They'd have to see that and not pass us by. It might work. We could give it a try. We may have enough auxiliary power to drop them off. Twinkie, Bobby, look at their missile tube, starboard. It's starting to open. We're going to be ducking missiles in a minute. Port rocket, Winky. Same run. Fire missile on count five. Repeat on five. Starting run. Check. One, two, three, four. Hold it, Winky. Hold fire. They ejected the rocket. They weren't firing it. That was meant as a signal to us. Maybe the ship's in some kind of trouble, Rocky. Get the magnetic lock ready, Winky. We're going alongside. Aye, aye, sir. The orbit jet is gone. our signal. Our power and equipment were neutralized. Our spaceship is a satellite of Casa 7. How'd that happen? Rinkman and Dr. Vanko, the two renegades from Earth, arranged it. Oh, so they're the cause of all the trouble. They've taken up space pirating. They came alongside and took off all our cargo. I see. Well, you can give me a complete rundown on our way to Casa 7. We can't get out of our orbit, Rocky. Oh, I think we can. The orbit jet will take you out. We'll stay in magnetic lock. Tandem pole will do the job. You better stay by the controls here, Reg. Vina, you come on the orbit jet with me, hmm? That's like going home, Rocky. I told him we'd find you, Vina. Didn't I, Rocky? You bet you did, Bobby. calling Casa 7. Come in, Casa 7. Casa 7 Central Station to XV2. Requesting landing clearance. Bringing spaceship CM7 in on tandem pull. Landing platform in readiness. Please report at 10 miles. We'll bring you in for ground control approach. Out. Out. Twin landing platforms. Ready magnetic locks. It's only a matter of seconds now. My sister Vina can't be any happier than I am. Jet and CM7 and magnetic lock are safely landed, sir. Nice going, Ken. I'll bet you you're excited, Vina. I'm excited and happy and thankful I reached Casa 7. <laughs> Your big brother's probably waiting outside now. Yes. Good to see you, sis. I came very near not making it. Yeah, you sure had us worried when your ship didn't answer our signals. We were space whacked by pirates. 
None of our equipment was working. Winky, I'm disappointed. There aren't any girls waiting for you. You're disappointed? How do you think I feel? Bobby, Winky, this is my brother, Paul. Hi, Bobby. Hello, Winky. Hi, Paul. Winky's co-pilot on the orbit jet. Uh huh. Hey, Bobby, aren't you a little young to be a space traveler? I'm learning to be a pilot like Rocky. <laughs> Hello, Reggie. I hear you've been having pirate troubles. Well, they almost hitched us to a star and left us there. And you're Rocky Jones. It's nice meeting Venus, brother. It's a seven. I wish it were on more pleasant business, Paul. We should discuss a plan of action as quickly as possible. Well, let's go to my quarters and get on with it. Come on, sis. I'll show you how your bachelor brother lives. <laughs> when the leader from the pirate spaceship came on our ship, I recognized him. He was Rinkman. And later, Reggie said Dr. Vanko was also on their ship. They're two fugitives from Earth, Paul. Rinkman's a traitor to the United Worlds and an out-and-out -out criminal. Well, what procedure did the space pirates use to capture our cargo ships? They used some form of beamed energy that prevents the ship's instruments from working, like cutting a light switch. Yes, but I don't see how that can be done. When the speed of the spaceship is balanced against the pull of gravity of CASA-7, they cut the power. That leaves the ship in a perfect little orbit. It becomes a captive permanently, a man-made satellite. Yes. The only way they can be rescued is by tandem pull, using the rocket thrust of another ship which is locked with them. Well, that means I can send out search ships to locate those that have vanished. Yes, Paul. The ships and their crews can be saved, even if the cargoes are lost. And you have to catch up with two renegades, Rinkman and Dr. Vanko. We'll have to find out who's behind them and where they operate from. Well, we've got the whole solar system to work in. Well, how can you find out where to start, Rocky? Well, like Winky says, Bobby, the entire solar system is ours. Oh, Paul, I'd like to use your solar system atlas, if I may, and do a little studying. Sure, right there on the bookcase. Help yourself. And if you need anything else, just ask. Thank you, Paul. Well, let's let Rocky get to work, huh? In the meantime, I'll show the rest of you what's being done here in Casa 7. Are you sure it's all right for us to leave, Rocky? Oh, we won't go too far, Bobby. Well, I'll stick around in case Rocky needs anything. Okay, you can always reach me by the visiograph. Fine. Thanks, Fina. Can I get you anything else? No, this is just fine. Oh, did you get Bobby to bed? Yes, he's in dreamland. <laughs> so is Winky. And you're next, Fina. Turn in. Are we getting anywhere, Rocky? I think so. If Paul's around, I'd like to talk with him. We'll be right with you. Oh, Fina, just Paul. You'll learn all about it in the morning. Those are orders. All right. Fina. How about a little snack for me, huh? I was awake all the time. <laughs> I'll get you a snack, you faker. Uh, well, Rock, I'm raring to go. You should be after eight hours sleep. Mm, it's his air. It's like Paris in spring. We won't be in it long. Hmm. There goes my social life on Casa 7. I know, Winky. It's rough on the girls, but we have work to do. Winky Vina sent this to you. Hmm. This is mine. That's Rocky's. Rocky, have you come up with anything yet? Maybe. If an unfriendly planet is behind the acts of piracy, they wouldn't operate from their home base. That'd be too easy to trace. And the United Worlds might declare open warfare. There are four or five planetoids far enough off of regular space lanes that could be used as secret bases for criminal traffic. I have checked them all, and this is the one I'd pick. Why, that's the planetoid Pra, known as the Lonely Moon. 
Draw is 20 celestial degrees from any lane of space travel. Yes, but Rocky, you know the history of Pra. No spaceship has ever landed there because of some unknown defense barrier. That's right. Three Earth spaceships set off for Pra and nothing was ever heard of them again once they entered its gravity field. The only way we'll ever find out if Pra is being used is to go there. Well, how do we get through the barrier? I think it can be managed. Are you sure, Rocky? All right, so we land on Pra. What then? We'll decide that when we get there. That's that. Nothing to do but blast off. I'll send along a couple of armed escort ships, will you? Thanks, Paul, but we're not ready for any frontal attack. I don't like it, Rocky. There is something you can do. What's that? Explain to Vina and Bobby why they can't go along. <laughs> That'll be a neat trick if you can do it. The trick is, we'll be off of Casa 7 before they're up in the morning. Speaking from Pra. Calling Cleolata on Ophetius. This is Cleolata. What is there to report? I've got the cargo of Earth's spaceship CM7 safely stowed away. Hold it at Pra until you receive delivery orders. Is there anything else, Rinkman? Yes. Break down a little, Cleolanta. Forget you're the boss for five minutes. Do you have anything more to report? A little bit. I think you'll like this. After we left the CM-7 to its lonely travels, we picked up Rocky Jones on the radar vex. And you kept right on to Pra? Sure, why not? So he could follow you? You fool, do you think you can outsmart Rocky Jones? What do you think? I had Armin, your best pilot, standing by on a decoy spaceship to blast the orbit jet into the next galaxy. You've disobeyed my orders. I was thinking mainly of saving my own neck. Remain on Pra for further orders. Out. You know something, Doc? Yeah. Sometimes I think she'd rather see us dead than Rocky Jones. Atlasan. Atlasan. Did you call me, Cleolanta? Rickman and Dr. Benko are on Pra. Excellent. Then we'll have more valuable merchandise to sell to our ally planets. Rinkman and Dr. Vanko are to be executed. Executed? But what have they done? They've disobeyed my orders. I shall see that your orders are carried out. Then do it. Cleolanta, it's too bad that we can't get Rocky Jones to take their place. <laughs> get out. Get out! Pra's gravity field, right? Yes, you can see Pra now on visiograph. Well, what are we going to do about that defense barrier? You know, Winky, what you can't see, you can't hit. I'll buy that. But what are we going to do about that defense barrier? I've been holding out on you until now, Winky, because I promised Professor Newton. Mm, I know what you mean, the coal light. I never could get you to talk about it. Professor Newton asked me not to use it until we had to. He's kept it so hush-hush that most people don't even know it exists. I'll have to brief you on it. Right. When the lamp's actuated by this switch, the filament in the vacuum tube is quickly brought to a temperature of about minus 243 degrees centigrade. Freezing Jupiter, why all that cold? Well, Professor Newton explained it this way. Heat can affect light waves to a point where images that aren't even there can be seen by the human eye, like the mirages that appear on hot deserts. Oh, sure, I've seen them on the Sahara. Now, intense cold can have the opposite effect. Blot out images that are actually there. When this lamp is switched on, the rays sent out by the terrifically cold light will make the orbit jet invisible. Well, how can we fly a ship we can't see? The cold light will surround the ship. 
that we'll be able to see everything normally here in the cabins. But no one will be able to see us. Well, if that can't get us through any defense barrier, nothing can. Oh, just one point, Winky. We have to fight time. We don't know how long the cold lamp will operate, so... Stand by to switch it up, huh? Right, sir. We're entering cross gravity field. Switch it on, Winky. ship's invisible. We don't, not for sure. But if something hits us, we'll know the cold light didn't work. <laughs> that's finding out the hard way. Boy, that's a rugged place. Activate the gyro. Activated, sir. Secure for landing. But even if we can spot a place in that rocky terrain, the orbit jet won't stand on its tail. We're going to go right into one of their landing platforms. Well, somebody's going to be surprised. I hope it isn't us. We didn't have a signal for a landing. Who could possibly land them bra? Marco. Marco! Marco here. Who's making a landing? Nothing's coming into the landing platforms. Are you blind? Let's have a look, Doc. Graph on, Winky. You'll have to cover me. If they start anything, blast them. I'll keep my trigger finger ready. You'll be able to see me materialize out of the ship's invisibility blanket. Boy, they're going to be even more surprised than they are now. But remember, we don't know how long the coal light will last. Right. You can see no spaceship has landed here. It must have landed. We heard the rockets. Maybe we're all blind. What do you think, Doc? You heard it. I don't know. I don't know. It's fantastic. We're being paid to know about these things, Vanko. Did a spaceship land or didn't it? This thing is all beyond me. I have to admit it. You're going to have to keep up to date, Doc. Or you'll be dropped back to Earth and wind up on the exile planet. Look, there is your answer. Expecting someone, Rankman? Rocky Jones. You have discovered the light vibration of invisibility. It's friendly of you to bring this new discovery to us. Let's not waste time, Rankman. I'm here with a warning. You're in no spot to give orders. There's the orbit jet. Take my word for it. There's a gun on it ready to blast you if you make one false move. I'll make it brief, Rankman. Stop pirating the spaceships of the United Worlds. A prowl will be blown out of existence. That's big talk, Rocky. I didn't think the orbit jet would fire on you to get us. You'll gain nothing by holding me. We'll take that chance. Get him to the caves. Leolanda? Yes? This is Rinkman on Pra reporting an emergency. Proceed with your report. There's been a slight change in our plans to destroy the orbit jet in Rocky Jones. Why wasn't it reported earlier? Because I didn't discover the change until Rocky Jones landed on Pra. That's impossible. No spaceship can get through the defense barrier. Rocky Jones has discovered a new trick. He's here. What is he up to? Nothing much. As long as I have him locked up in one of the caves. Keep him under guard. You'll get further orders. Out.
Well, atlas -san? I've ordered two of our most trusted men to prowl to handle the execution of Rankman and Dr. Vanko. Cancel your orders. For Cleolanta, that was your command. I said cancel your orders. What's the matter? Do they redeem themselves? I will go to Pra and decide if they are to be pardoned. Pra is a barren planet, a land of rock and granite mountains. It's no place for a woman. Have my spaceship made ready. You will serve as pilot. If that is what you wish. It is what I command. getting through. You're coming in clear, Rocky. I'm being held in a cave in one of the mountains. I'll find it. We don't know how much coal light we have left. You're not to leave the orbit jet. I'll have to find a way to get clear. So keep the ship ready for blast off at any time. Will do. But I feel like a lunkhead just sitting here. Your job is to keep the orbit jet invisible just as long as the coal light holds out. Stand by. <laughs> Rocky, suppose we make a deal. I'm listening. You've got something good in that secret of invisibility. Yeah, I think so. I could get you off Pra alive in exchange for that secret. You're wasting your time. I'll put it this way. Come in with me. You mean, as a space pirate? It pays off. Working out of an invisible spaceship, we'd have the solar system by the tail. How about the people you're taking orders from? We won't be needing them. We can brush them off. Yes, but I don't know who you're working for. You'd like to know, wouldn't you, Rocky? Not a chance. All right. Well, Rocky, is it a deal? Or do you rot it out in this cave? What'll it be, Rocky? Keep him covered, Winky. I got him covered, Rocky. He had some business with the prisoner. He shouldn't have gone to see Rocky Jones alone. Rocky's a sharp character. He insisted. I'm going to see what's going on. Back up. Don't try anything. Go on, Dr. Banco. Put your hands in the air and keep them lifted. Go on, get over the side, Dr. Banco. Now, don't either one of you try a thing. Winky! Come in, Winky. Go ahead, Rocky. Not much time left. Open the airlock hatch. Airlock hatch open. Prepare for blast off. I'm on my way. Rockets will be roaring. Right. Off perfect, Winky. You had yourself quite a time. Yes, but I didn't quite complete the job. We know where the space pirates operate from. And who they are. But we still don't know who's behind Rinkman. 
We'll keep the cold light on until we're out of Pra's gravity field. Yeah, I sure hope there's enough energy left in the land. Winky, look. Strange spaceship headed for Pra. Wow, we just blasted off in time. Brinkman's boss is probably on that ship. I'd sure like to have a look inside. Yeah. I'm curious, Cleolanta, about this journey to Pra. The truth is, Rocky Jones has been taken prisoner and is being held on Pra. Oh, so that's the reason you're giving it your personal attention. If you were as smart as my chief officer should be, you'd know the reason. Rocky Jones has caused us more difficulties than any other person in the United Worlds. I want him on our side. You failed before, Cleolanta. This time, I'm not going to. XV-2 to CASA-7. This is the XV-2 calling CASA-7. This is CASA-7. Go ahead, XV-2. Message to Paul Ray. We are proceeding to CASA-7. Anticipate arrival at uh, 400 solar time. Tell Paul to say hello to Vina and Bobby. Message will be delivered to Paul Ray. Thank you, CASA-7. Out. Well, there's the period on this mission. No, Winky. I think there's still a lot more to come before we see the end of the space pirates. Well, I only hope that Betty doesn't get tired. I told her to wait for me at the bandstand in Central Park. This is CASA 7 Central Station. Come in. This is the XP-2, approaching gravity field. What is your estimated time of arrival? 1,100 hours. We'll prepare landing clearance. Please contact Central Station when you reach altitude 50 miles. We'll report at 50 miles. Out. Casa 7, Ken speaking. Rinkman here. Go ahead, Ken. The orbit jet just reported. Approaching Casa 7. Do you hear me? Tell him to contact you for instructions after the orbit jet lands. Contact me for instructions after the orbit jet lands. Rinkman, is everything going as planned? Everything's just fine. Out. You mean everything's ruined by your stupidity. Do we have to go into that again? I arrive on Pra and find Rocky Jones has made fools of the whole lot of you. He just vanished right in front of our eyes. What can you do against a secret like that? You can find out what the secret is and use it yourself. But you let him slip right through your fingers. Let's not make a big argument out of it, Atlas Sam. Rocky's gone. What we have to find out is how do we get him back? Until we dispose of him, our very profitable traffic in United Planet spaceships and their valuable cargoes is finished. You should have let us finish them the way we wanted to. My orders stand. I want Rocky Jones alive. Why, Cleolanta? I just don't understand. You don't have to understand, Rinkman. Now concentrate on these orders. I want CASA-7 taken. You no, know, that's not a bad idea. And not too difficult to accomplish. Instruct our agent Ken to immobilize their defenses. CASA-7 should be a sitting duck. We take it over and all the valuable equipment and materials. Don't fail this time. We're returning to Ophetius. One thing more. You'll not be welcome on Ophetius until you bring Rocky Jones as a prisoner. You never opened your face, Doc. Well, why waste words? We are in the unfortunate position of being obliged to do Cleolanta's dirty work. But if we take over Casa 7 and lay hands on Rocky Jones, we'll do the dictating. 
Right now, we have to wait for a word from Ken. Paul, this is Ken at landing controls. Yes, Ken. The orbit jet is in the process of landing. Good. I'll be there in a few minutes. Have Rocky wait for me there. Out. Well, all safe and ship shape thanks to Professor Newton's cold light. Oh, thank you. Give me all the details on the operation of the cold light for a report to Professor Newton. Will do. You know, I'll bet those space buzzards on Pra are still busy trying to figure out what made the orbit jet invisible. I think we can depend on them trying to find out. That's what I like about you. You're so cheerful. Come on, Wiki. Paul's probably waiting for us. Welcome to the casa. Thanks, Ken. Did you contact Paul? Yes, he asked that you wait here. Have any message come through from Secretary Drake? This arrived just after you blasted off for Prague. Thank you. Following information may be of use. We monitored scrambled message sent to Prague. Message originated on planet C4R. C4R? That's code for Ophetius. Now we can guess whose ship we saw as we left Prague. Well, glad to see you two back. Feels pretty good to us, too, Hello, Paul. Paul. Did you get close enough to Pra? We made a landing on it. Well, that's impossible. No spaceship has ever penetrated their defense barrier. Well, maybe that's because none of them took along any coal light, Paul. <laughs> I never know when Winky's being serious. Well, you're looking at a very serious fellow, Paul. When the orbit jet landed on Pra, it was invisible. You mean that cold light made your spaceship invisible? I'll explain that later, Paul. The important thing now is we discovered Rinkman's pirate operations are based on Pra. Oh, well, when I asked you to wait here for me, I had a reason. Ken, you got those records, Andy? Oh, yeah. There was something about the disappearance of our cargo spaceships that bothered me. How did the pirates know the exact schedule? So I checked the records. I found that each spaceship reported from just outside our gravity field and then vanished. I see. Making it look as if Rinkman got his information from here. Well, it should be easy to check. Unfortunately, it isn't. You see, Ken had an assistant named Hagar New. He was an apprentice from Mars. The day Wiener's ship disappeared, he vanished. I think you'll eventually find your traitor, Paul. Ken, continue a close guard around here. Of course. Sleepy little fella nodding in my arms Couldn't keep your head up if you tried Take your ship of slumber where nothing harms A ranger boy who's on a star field ride All the sky is winking and blinking a sleepy little lullaby As deeper still we fly in your palatial, extra-spatial, outbound dreamer To the stars tomorrow, Daddy has to climb The trail we blaze tonight will be my guide I'll bet the stars will greet me kinda friendly-like And smile cause they're remembering a little tight Whose smile could make a noodle of a 
lightning strike the night he made the star field ride. The night he made the star field ride. Ovina, oh, when you have that report finished, will you send it to Secretary Drake on the message scrambler? Oh, Winky, I'm going to check over the orbit jet. You want me to go with you? No, you stay here. I'll be back before you turn in. Brinkman, I also cut power on all defense units. Can we come in for a landing? I'll stand by at Central Station. I'll bring you in by ground control. Don't let Rocky Jones blast off before we arrive. He won't find the orbit jet. I switched on the invisibility equipment. That's the equipment we want. It's here, ready to be taken. Somebody's coming. Out. Ah, you're working late, Ken. Since Haggard do rat out, I've been out on 24-hour duty. I use the charting room for living quarters. I came to check on the orbit jet. It isn't at the landing platform. That's strange. I wonder where it could have been taken. Well, the only place spaceships can be kept is at one of the platforms. Ah, I see. Oh, have you seen anything of Hagger No. Not a sign. All right. I'll check the platform again, just to be sure. too late. You are an Earthman. Yes, Rocky Jones. I command the orbit jet. I am Hagar Nu, a Martian. They're looking for you as a traitor. Ken arranged that cleverly. After I caught him giving information to the pirates, he had to silence me. Yes, he's quite a hand at that. For two days, I was bound and helpless in the charting room at Central Station. Yesterday, I was put into a deep sleep, found myself here. We're on my ship, the orbit jet. That's where Ken made his mistake. I know the ship too well. Ken is an evil man. He'll not stop at murder. If we can get out of these bonds, he'll have missed his chance. I may be able to slip them over my wrists. <laughs> this is Casa 7 Central Station. Come in. Rinkman here, making approach for landing. Utilize all circuits. Activate gyros. We'll handle circuits and gyros. Ground control will bring you in for landing. Out. to take over Casa 7. And do it fast. Get Mark off and Link in here. We got 
work to do, Ken. First, there's Paul Ray, taking prisoner. He's headed the entire project to Casa 7. Then what? After that, it'll be easy. Where do we find this Paul Ray? I'll show you. Brinkman. Just making a little surprise visit. We've covered the area at least a dozen times, Lincoln. I said, hold it! We're taking charge here, and if you don't think so, I'll give you a taste of this. I think it's slipping loose. Keeps on the automatic lock. He didn't know there's a way to handle that. There's an emergency circuit breaker here. Will you stand by the ship, Hagernu? If it's your wish. Good. There's some space guns in the control section. I'm going to do something about moving the orbit jet. Ken will see you. I don't think so. The ship is invisible. But that's impossible. I'll explain that later. Ken will be able to find it again. I am frank to say, I am puzzled. Ken had the platform marked so he'd know where the invisible ship was located. I erased the marks and put them on another platform. <laughs> I'd sure like to see Ken's face when he looks for the orbit jet. The orbit jet's invisible. I marked the platform. Come on. Walk right into the invisible band. Where is this invisible band? I don't understand it. You sure you know what you're doing? I left the ship right here twice. I've gone aboard. Well, you've blundered somewhere. There's nothing here, real or invisible. Rocky Jones and the Martian are on the ship, tied up. If I know Rocky Jones, he didn't stay tied up long. But he couldn't get away. If he did, he's got the orbit jet, and Cleolanta will have your neck. I'll find the ship. Well, you go on looking. I'll get Rocky's crew into my ship and send them along to Ephesus. With his friends in danger, Rocky Jones will soon show his hand. Yes, you took the words right out of my mind, Doc. If the orbit jet is lost, so are you. Were you looking for me, Ken?
Whose ship is that on the next platform? Whose ship is it? Freeman, all right, all right. On the ship. Sounds like Ken's in trouble. Hold him here. Go on. them in the rear section. They've got a long journey ahead. Right, let's go. Late. Get ready to take off for Ephesus. Doc will go along as navigator. When will we blast off? As soon as I contact Cleolanta and explain things, I'll give you the word. Markov and I will be using Paul Ray's quarters. Ken won't give us any more trouble. Our next job is to take Rinkman. He's wanted back on Earth to answer for his crimes. Perhaps he'll answer for them sooner than that. What do you mean, Hagenau? I wanted to be certain the traitors are destroyed. I inserted tonite alpha into the rocket tubes of Rickman's spaceship. But that'll blow them to bits when they blast off. Yes, the traitors will be destroyed. I want him alive, Hagenau. Winky! Paul. Dr. Vanko, Link, come in. Yes, Rickman? You can blast off any time, Doc. What did you arrange with Cleolanda? She's sending two spaceships with troops to police this project. And can you hold on? Will they arrive? The troops will be taking over before the people here know that Paul Ray is missing. Come back as soon as you can, Doc. We'll need you here. Good flying. And for your good hunting, you'll have to find Rocky Jones. Out. Brickman! Where are Paul Ray and my crew? You're a little late, Rocky. Where are they? They're due to blast off Casa 7 at any moment. On which ship? They're safely stowed away on my spaceship. Don't let them blast off, Rickman. Stop bluffing, Rocky. You try to hold the ship. You've got to stop them. The ship's in danger of blowing up. Starboard rocket. Fuel feed okay? Yeah, it registers. Try the starboard rocket again. Dr. Vanko, Link, come in. Urgent. There's a signal, Doc. Take it. Dr. Vanko. Doc, trouble. Rocky Jones on his way to the ship. Hold blast off. Take him. We'll handle him. Here, open the hatch and keep it covered. Bobby. Oh, well, Paul, you don't know how close you came to oblivion. Hagar knew loaded the rockets with tonite alpha. Wow. It was lucky I thought of knocking out those fuel pumps, wasn't it? I knew we could depend on you, Wiki. Bobby showed us a new trick with his penknife. He short-circuited the door controls. 
Well, I had to do something, didn't I, Rocky? Well, that's why you took me along. Bobby, you're wonderful. Oh, Paul, there are a couple more prisoners at your quarters we have to pick up to add to these. Then we got to take them back to Earth to turn them in. Oh, did you find the orbit yet? Yes, and she's ready for blast off. Oh, Paul, one more detail. There are two spaceships headed here from Ophetius. I'll know what to do with them. Blast them. <laughs> What time do we land on Earth with our cargo of traders? About 1900 Earth time. Oh, wonderful. Hey, how about using the astrophone? I've already reported to Secretary Drake. Yeah, well, uh, you see, I wanted to call Betty. I want to see if she's still waiting for me at the bandstand in Central Park. Come on, I'll lay off. I'll ask her if she has a friend for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. 